This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Review. What I'm looking at today is The Last Jedi, the movie which destroyed Star Wars! Made Luke Skywalker into a weakling! Made Luke Skywalker into a traitor! Made Luke Skywalker into a coward! Caused world hunger! Directly caused the election of Trump! go on and on about the hyperbole surrounding The Last Jedi. And it's very weird for me that a Star Wars movie is evoking all this passion. And having seen it, I don't get it. It's an entertaining movie, not without its problems, which I'll get into in a moment. It's well done, it's gorgeous. It feels like a Star Wars movie. It's a little odd, but compared to the prequels, this is like friggin' Citizen Kane. I don't get the hatred. And I have to mention that I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. I like the first three films in the series. Again, the prequels are just weird. I don't hate them, but they don't evoke much in a way of passion for me. And I'm not crazy about a lot of what's happened since Lucasfilms was purchased by Disney. I thought Rogue One was just an exercise in how to make a movie, not so much a, a movie itself. The Force Awakens, I thought, was too much of a revisiting A New Hope. Didn't see why that's necessary, frankly. And this movie does some interesting things. It takes chances. But it's not a great movie for a few reasons. For me, the biggest is that it's way too long. It just, I actually nodded off two or three times in the theater. It's just not well paced. And if I were gonna change anything about The Last Jedi, it would be the scenes involving Luke Skywalker and Rey, I wanna say Leia so badly. That involved Luke Skywalker and Rey on that island. They were just, for the most part, pointless. I would think they came up to about maybe 
half hour to 40 minutes of the movie. There are, there are quite a few of them. Not, you know, obviously not getting that all in one moment, but just add it all together. I want to say about half hour, 40 minutes. You could have done those scenes in half that time, if that. It was just, they meandered. There's a pointlessness to them that was just tiring. As I said, I, I found myself nodding off quite a bit because there, it almost felt to me like they know that Mark Hamill's a good actor and they just wanted him in that movie. And as opposed to writing him in in a way that made more sense, in a way that better fit the story, they just kind of created these little vignettes, these little scenes for him. And oh God, they were tiring and I wish they would stop. I was complaining about Snoke being killed with a lightsaber. And sure, but the way it was done was actually kind of clever. It was neat. I didn't mind that at all. So, now that, since I was talking about things that bugged me earlier, and I just mentioned Snoke, what bothered me a bit was the fight between those red armored dudes and Rey and Kylo Ren, in that it was just over choreographed. Fighting in movies is particularly a dance, because obviously your intent is not to hurt the other person. So it's it's choreographed, it's like it's a dance. And much of the fight in that scene looked like a dance. And that's a problem. Again, I get it. Fight scenes are choreographed. They shouldn't look like a dance though. And this looked like a dance to me. It didn't make any sense. What's also didn't make sense was the penultimate way that Laura Dern's character took care of that Snoke Star Destroyer, or at least very seriously crippled it. Nothing, I mean, this movie defies logic sometimes. For instance, earlier in the movie you have the bombers trying to bomb the Dreadnought. Now, they've just, now they had to have known that if you could warp into and crash into hyperspace and crash into another ship. Why not do that? Use one X-wing fighter, have it warp right into a into the dreadnought or any other um, first order ship for that matter. Why are you wasting tons of lives to fight in ways that you know don't work when you are pretty certain to be effective if you could just warp into them? It, it makes no sense. It's it's an interesting movie. It's a challenging movie. But it's not worth all the animus and rancor that's come up around it. It's really not that important. It's, in fact, a very minor movie. Well, to me at any rate. I mean, what does it cost over $100 million? Probably $150 to $200 million for Christ's sakes to make. So it's not minor to a lot of people. But in terms of movies in general, this ain't art. And I had a debate over what is art on Twitter. And some people, some well-known people for that matter, chimed in. And they were kind of irritated with that, with my bringing that up. But let's be honest, not every movie is art. And I'm talking about art with a capital A. Art, lowercase a, can be a kid finger painting. That's art. But I'm talking about art with a capital A. Something that achieves more. Something that is inspirational. Something that is greater than the sum of its parts. Not every movie is art. I'm sorry. It just bugs me when people do this. I guess what got me onto that tangent originally was that I would watch Joe Rogan on his um, YouTube show sometimes, and he talks in this uber pretentious manner about comedians being artists and our art. It's like, fuck you. This is not, it's not art. Well, I'm sorry. It can be art, but it's typically not art. For instance, some of what I've seen from Richard, Richard Pryor, I would consider art. George Carlin, art. Not everyone can do that. It's art 
capital A, for me, is the pinnacle of achievement in whatever particular task you're accomplishing. It's not about money. It's about hitting that sweet spot in which everything flows, everything's perfect, everything is just brilliant. That, for me, is art with a capital A. And not everyone achieves that. And not every movie achieves it either. And every movie is not art. There are movies that are art, though. No doubt. But it's a term, as I think of it anyway, that's thrown around way too much, way too often. And The Last Jedi is not art. It's an entertaining, well done, at times, thought-provoking movie. But it ain't art. It's not worth all this anger and discussion. Just let it go. It's just not all that. This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and review The Last Jedi. Peace.